Hello, it's me again with another drawing for your viewing pleasure and this time I've got a classic MG. This was commissioned by a chap who I bumped into at the Footman James Classic Car Show um, last year and he asked me to do this for a guy that he works with who is due to retire and he's basically him and his, his other workmates have chipped in for me to do this picture for him and it's his car uh, and his car is called Ethel. I don't know why the car's called Ethel and neither does the chap who's commissioned me, but that is his prerogative. If you want to call your car a name like Ethel, that is fine. People name ships all the time. He's named his car. You know, fair play to him. This took me 30 hours and 54 minutes, or one day and six hours. And the reason it took so long to do is because normally I've got such a wide range of colours and colour palettes that I can normally get away with just using one colour and depending on how hard I press it onto the paper I can pretty much match the colour you know a bit lighter or a bit darker and I've got it but with this I've had to create brand new colours from scratch because it's a bottle green car a racing green car that's sort of reflecting blues from the sky and wood from the fence and green from the door so I've had to blend a lot of greens and blues to get it absolutely correct um, to give that translucent and turquoise effect on the on the green so it's a lot of time and effort longer than any other video you've seen so far that I've put on, on here for a picture that I've done and that's why because it was trying to blend everything and get it basically creating colours from scratch the other reason I do these videos is so that you can see just how long they take and people can get the head around it sometimes they'll think that i'm a bit of a human printer and i just go bish bash bosh three hours there you go there's a picture done and it's not it takes a hell of a long time to do there's a reason they look photographic once i've finished because they take such a long time you know average time on a picture for me is 25 hours so if you want it looking like a photograph it's because i've spent the amount of time on it making it look like that and it's it always i always get a buzz when i go to the car shows and i've got completed pictures for people to look at and they do a double take because at first they think it's a photograph and then they look again and go whoa hang on a minute you've drawn that and i'll say yeah and they scratch in their head and they can't get their heads around it i mean obviously you can tell when you look at them that they're drawn but it's only when you take a good close look at them and i buzz off the fact that i can still fool, fool people with that and that's 33 years of practice so it's no mean feat they're not easy things to do they take a lot of time and effort and concentration uh and you know it's not something that you can just do overnight this is something i've taken a lifetime to practice the other reason i do these videos is because i've had some idiots over the years particularly the last two years who have been bad mouthing me and saying oh i don't believe he does these videos he can't possibly do him blah 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 well the proof of the pudding is these videos and the commissions i've got that i've completed the people who have known me over the years and the events i've gone to so the less said about them the better and here i am still doing them so there you go so yeah i'm i'm really happy with the result on this and i'll keep them coming i've got another video coming up which i know you will love and that is a portrait and this is full color so look out for that you'll enjoy it see you again